We'll have more NCAA tournament. Caitlin Clark, who is turning out to be the biggest star in the history of college basketball. But speaking of college hoops, we had a big story today out of Los Angeles that apparently Bronny James has had enough and he has put his name in the transfer portal and he is leaving USC unless... He isn't. But wait, 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 wait. But the story comes out. Bronny James, transfer portal. He's leaving. Yeah. And already. And, you know, and oh, by the way, before we hear from LeBron on this, I love right away the reaction of the people who said, oh, this is what he needs. He needs to get away from LeBron. Oh, yeah. Get away from Hollywood. Get away from from, get away from his family. I'm like, I'm like, you know what? This is where I want. I just want to tell people, just shut up. You don't know what fam, what the family dynamic is. Maybe Bronny loves hanging out and going to USC and, and and hanging out and being able to see his family all the time. His dad is LeBron James. Don't, don't sit here and tell me, oh, he's got to right. get away from LeBron. You don't know. Like you, you, people think that going back, it's like it's like the great Santini or something. Like LeBron <laughs> is just all all of a sudden on top of Bronny everywhere he goes. Bronny comes into the house late. Where are you, Bronny? Were you shooting? What happened? What happened to practice today? Like you don't know that. Now maybe that's the case, but I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it out there. Oh, by the way, that maybe they have a great relationship and that maybe things are okay and yeah. that he likes what he's likes being here i like going to usc and this really would be a basketball thing if it happens this is not dad because it's not a movie right it's it's, it's not a, it's not a rom-com where the kid has to go away and leave home and then the the dad goes to college and winds up dating a professor because he's a single dad down on his luck it's not a rom-com it's, there's, there's no scene where Bronny says dad i gotta get away from you everywhere i go i'm just Bronny. i'm not me I'm wait not wait wait does, does he meet a really passionate history teacher <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you going necessary roughness? No, I was going, thank you, Mr. Helper. <laughs> I thought you were going necessary roughness when Scott Bakula meets Harley Jane Kozak. And says, oh, no, no, hey. I, was, I was going full back to school. So no, there. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, good answer. Good, good answer. answer. Good a- oh, we want to get involved. I'll keep an eye on you. I mean, that, that's not what the but people act like that's what this whole thing is. Bronny's got to get away from LeBron. He's just he, like he's doing interviews with Dr. Phil and on different shows saying, I just can't get out of his shadow. There's nothing I can do. I don't dare. I got to be me. No, nobody knows. You want to talk about it? We'll talk about it about basketball because that's really what this is all about. But to sit here and say he's got to get away from LeBron. You can't. There's the shadow of LeBron. It's too huge. You don't know what anybody's family dynamic is. But, you know, hey, I, I get wanting to play amateur psychologist, but sure. let's just tell you right away, that's just stupid. Anybody, I'm like, he's still LeBron James' kid, whether he's there or he's playing in Antarctica. Hey, are you the new kid? <laughs> yeah, what's your name? Bri- Brian? Brian. Shh. Brian, my name is Brian. You know, you look a lot like, I get it, I know, I I'm get it I'm just going to call you B. I get it, I get you know, it all the time. B. I know, I look like LeBron when I smile, I look like LeBron. Yeah, no, I get it all the time. I used to yeah, make money <laughs> in, in high school, like I used to go to like these different uh, the events, you know, pretending to be with Pal Gasol impersonator. I used to make money, but that, no, 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 but the, the, yeah, I know, I get it all the time. I'm not Bronny James. But but it says here on the on the manifest it says B James no 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 that it, it, that's not me it's it's it, that that no no that's not me it's not my name is Brian 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 Jameson they, they Brian they forgot the O N at the end I'm Brian Jameson okay that's why I'm Brian Jameson that's me no that's good I like that and and LeBron is powerful enough to get things scrubbed from the internet <laughs> unless he's not as evidenced by some of the asinine comments that still hang out there. No you, question. You just call me BJ. Just call me BJ. Whatever nickname you have for me, whatever cool nickname you have for me, yeah, it's going to be whatever, whatever you got. Yeah, just call me anything, man. I'm good. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. And then you find it over the course of the movie. Oh, his dad really is LeBron James. Look at him. He's here. He's hiding in the bushes over there. There's a TMZ crew there. I don't know why they're here. Like, like that's what this is. All of a sudden, it's, oh, he's got to get away. Yeah, he's got, he's got to get away from LeBron. Got to get away. Right, right. Because LeBron is the guy that's got him not playing minutes and not succeeding and potentially needing to transfer. It's LeBron, right. I got it. It's LeBron's fault. Yes, all that. However, uh, Mike, that may not be the case. This whole stuff with Bronny James transferring in the transfer portal. Guys are in the transfer portal now already. More people are in. People are making their decisions. After the Lakers win tonight over the Raptors, 128-111, LeBron was asked about the reports. Hey, so is uh, Bronny in the transfer portal and leaving USC? And here's what LeBron had to say. Uh, comment on the report that Bronny potentially is going to transfer portal? Um, well, I don't know where it came from. But at the end of the day, Bronny's his own man. He has some tough decisions to make. Yeah. And uh, when he's ready to make some decisions, he'll let us all know. But as his family, we don't support whatever he Yeah, uh, I don't really know about this. That's either LeBron going, 
hey, I don't know where that came from. So that's either LeBron going, I don't know where that came from and I'm being nice or... Wow, did he really decide to go in the portal without telling me first? Like, did that really? Wow, happen? that would have been not, something. Did right he not there. call me? Like, what, what are yeah. the what are the what are the, uh, the the pinions firing in LeBron's head? The neurons firing to go. Ooh, how do I? Uh, hey, he, first I've heard about. He's it. in the portal, but I mean, here's the thing: you really think LeBron didn't know? I mean, even though he made it sound like that's where. How do I make this sound very off the cuff and very hey? But I don't know where that came from. I I, I don't know where that came from. I mean, I think he realized that I can't do the whole hey. Uh, this is so unfair for a kid and the criticism to have. I think he realized when he put that out there about a month or two ago that he was overplaying his hand. You, oh, yeah, you, you yeah. can't run things that way. So this is the exact 180 degree opposite of, oh, hey, I don't know where that came from. But uh, yeah, he's his own guy. And uh, yeah, I'm, uh, you know, if he wants to have a special on television and, you know, sponsored by Boys and Girls Club and announce he's taking his talents to Westwood, uh, you know, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to stop that from happening. I, I don't know. When something happens. I, I guess we'll have news. I, I don't know. I, I don't know where that came from. I do appreciate the guy, the guy that originally put it back out. Uh, uh, well, we'll give him his name. Uh, Hoops Weiss, Dick Weiss. Uh, ben Bolch. Hall of Fame. Ben Bolch, you put this out for the Yeah, <laughs> like, double, double that. Aha! Yeah, b- part of the UCLA coverage. Let's the create. villainous USC basketball team and the milk and cookies UCLA team. <laughs> you didn't see the update on that one? <laughs> well, no, that's what I was going to read right now. Oh, good. Well, can't confirm Bronny James' story, guys. Still think it's an idea whose time has come. Make sense if it oh. happens. I love the kid. Think he could be a star elsewhere. Oh, so it's not a it's so not you a story. a lot of chaos, yeah. Hall of Famer. Yeah. yeah, we're stripping you of your Hall of Fame. <laughs> Oh, black and everything else. I'm not saying that's happening. I'm saying that would be a good idea. Oh, be a good idea. I'm Covering saying, college no, no, basketball no, 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 no. for eight thousand years, yeah. and an award-winning columnist mm-hmm. with the New York Daily News. Yeah, and now uh, that that's not backtracking. I mean, that's moonwalking that one back. I, did, that's, I didn't. I didn't that's mean that. Style right there. Whoa. That's the guy at a uh, gender reveal that goes directly into an offensive lineman pass blocking stance. That's exactly what Dick Weiss did right mm, there. That's an oh side show bob moment oh oh, oh. oh can i go viral show, can bob. i go viral <laughs> <laughs> and then once everybody starts saying hey dude with this star- oh well now i'll say oh no that was just an idea i just thought that was an idea don't, don't take me that was real you think that was real no 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 that's no, no, not gonna happen no forget, forget not gonna do it not gonna do it it's like that's like if the president came out and said hey uh i am going to and and, and make some you know decision hey uh, guess what we're gonna have a three-day work week Three, not four days. I'm cutting it right to three, which would be awesome, right? Three day working. Yay! Three day working. And then companies start going belly up. All this stuff happens, and the president says, Oh, I didn't, uh, no, I didn't say to do that. I just thought that was a good idea. I didn't, yeah, I didn't, by, I didn't by know. the way, oh, I didn't um, know about that. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm for a three. Hey, why, why are we why are we messing around with a four day work? Go, let's go right to three days. There's nothing. If, if you can get a five day work week done in four, there's no way you can't get a four day work week done in three. You can. By the way, you just got to um, work a few more hours on those three days. But I would do that to take to take uh, time off. I think. Yeah, the, the only place that's enforceable is in uh, public administration and public offices, which, are, as we know, are known for their brilliance and efficiency. And I love you all. Whatever you're doing out there, you know, it's, it, it is what it is. Uh, going to three days probably ain't helping things, uh, along the way. Uh, cause, I mean, what are you going to do with it? You're going to be like Newman stacking mail <laughs> because you can't get it done in your, in your three, <laughs> three day shift. I mean, what, what are you going to do there? Uh, but for private enterprises, yeah, the government can't enforce that one. And, uh, that ain't going to work. See why you're in everybody's parade. That'd be. I think you could do that. It's like forget those. Hey man, you you could go create your own little LLC and work three days a week if you want. Have at it. Seven minute abs to six minute abs. Why? Why? Let's go right to five minute abs. Really can't get it done in five minutes. I think. I think you can.